Oh boy, we got every cop in town. Lights and sirens up at 14th in Washington again. Well, let me get up there and see what's going on. Oh, we got an ambulance responding too. Okay, so I get up here and we got some woman over there on the curb. As you see, the G4S in uniform, but walking his bicycle, stepping into the frame deliberately to block it. Now we got one, two, three, four, or five officers here, and just about as many cars. We've got one with the flashing lights up there. Uh, next corner in Espanola Way. It's the next corner to the north. You see the traffic cops in the middle of the block there. I don't see his vehicle. You know, there's a traffic cop in a white shirt and a uh, strap going across from the shoulder to the opposite hip. That's traffic details uniform. Okay, anyway, back to what they're doing over here. You see this one in the black shirt just stuck his arm up to try and block my shot. Let me zoom this out a little. Now yeah, you can see everything. More G4S with nobody to guard. Like I've been saying, there's another one. I think they dispatched them all over here in order to stop me from filming them. I see the, the fat one in the middle over there. Can't tell for sure from this distance, but it sure looks like Officer Scott McCullough. He had been a sergeant. He was fired, supposedly, maybe eight or nine years ago. I can't recall ever seeing another beach cop that fat. One day I was crossing the street and he made a left turn and he hit me and kept going in his private vehicle. When I gave him the tag number, they refused to do the report. No, it isn't McCullough. Now he got close enough that I can see. It is not McCullough. This is somebody I don't know. They've got another obese one on the force. Now, I've never seen him before. I went to IAD about it, and they never gave him a ticket or charged him, but they said they fired him over it. But now look at all those black shirts walking through. It's not unintentional. They've been dispatched here. somewhere. Here comes the supervisor and he's trying to shine a light right at my camera, except that the other officer Low power. Please charge. is in the way. See, I'm having to keep moving every time this other officer moves so that I can keep him in between me and the light. First of the lands I've seen. And there's another G4S. Uh, now there's more civilians around. Got two observers here and a couple I just walked by. 
Amazing they don't have a black shirt tail. There you go, more two four S. And another one. Those are two civilian observers that I pointed out before. Well, now they've sat her back down on the curb. Now we got one group over by the supervisor's car who is obstructing traffic on uh, Washington there. We got one group hanging out over here, just talking. I think there's ice cream in there. And then we've got this other group standing there. Now you see the other G4S guy who walked into the frame, turned around, walked back to try and block it. Now he's over there talking to the cop. Now he walks back through. A couple of civilian girls, amazing. No G4S tail. They're not bothering to tail people up and down the street now. I guess because all these cops are here. Here comes another one. All they're doing is walking through my shot every two seconds. And I bet you as soon as the cops start to do anything, like put her in the car, I'm going to get three or four of them just walking back and forth in front of the shot so that I'm, I'm not going to be able to get it. Maybe even one with a boombox, so I'm going to have to delete the audio. Okay, well, the supervisor moved on now, so traffic's slowing again. It was backed up for blocks. Y'all can't fuck with the police. Y'all can't fuck with the police. Oh man, I take him a grand jail. Ah oh, shit. Ah oh, shit. I take him a grand jail. Oh man, he'll take him to jail, dog. No. I can't believe these guys are walking by smoking a blunt and telling these cops not to take her to jail. These are civilians. Another civilian. Okay, evidently there's been an auto accident at 14th. Between, somewhere between 14th and Espanola on Collins. I'm here on Washington and they've got somebody in custody and I don't know if the two are related but most of the officers that were headed up this way went to the auto accident scene that's where the ambulance went as well These guys walk into the frame and stop. See? Not in uniform. But that's the typical thing that the let's just say ghetto mentality does. Another G4. Okay, now they're starting to tell civilians again. See the tall guy in the uniform tailing the whole group. And here comes the one who walked into the frame and tried to block it. 
Oh, they're going into the bodega. Okay. Yeah, that's the bodega with the wooden door. It still hasn't gotten their door fixed from when the car crashed through there. It's been a week already. It was a week ago tonight. More G4S. I don't know why one of them was in the blue and white. Civilians or G4S. They're civilians. And this one stops right here. Walks through the frame in front of me. You see how I'm trying to keep a uh, get away out of the frame? Yeah, you purposely walk in right into it. comes the copyrighted music at the start and stop the video. I don't see where the person with the boombox is, but it doesn't seem to be moving. It seems to be stationary. Somewhere 40 or 50 feet south of me, but it's loud enough so that it'll get on the audio and get me a copyright strike.